Welcome back to the National School Games 2014, the only show dedicated to inter-school sports competitions here in Singapore. That's right, Kelly. Next up, we meet students who have turned their backs on dry land and are set on conquering our waters. Aye, aye, Captain. All hands on deck. Get ready to sail. Imagine a CCA where you get to enjoy the sun, sand and sea. Impossible, you say? Well, not when your school is just a stone's throw away from the beach, like Victoria School is. And today we catch up with a group of Victorians who have been specially groomed to bring glory to their school in one of Singapore's more illustrious sports. Hi, I'm Wallace, Head Prefect of Victoria School, and today I will go into special access to visit some of my friends from the sailing team. Victoria School has always had a fine sailing tradition. And today, these gentlemen will show you the reason why. Is that right, guys? Yes! Gentlemen, take it away. Well, we started out in 2002. I think we have come quite a long way. Uh, at the beginning, uh, we were quite a small team. I think only about three to four sailors. Our team became slightly bigger um, around 2010, 2011. And then um, subsequently, I think we have actually been quite consistent in getting the numbers that uh, we require. Basically, we will try to provide our sailors with a platform for holistic development. Other than the training that we have about twice a week, we also encourage uh, our students to take part in external regattas. This is to provide them with a platform for competition so that they know where they are standing amongst their peers as well as students from other schools. But I think what's unique about our training style is that we try to ensure that students not only spend time uh, during training, but we also want to make sure that they balance uh, their academic studies as well. One good example would be our ex-Victorian sailor, Ryan Lowe. He is a national sailor, and uh, ever since the time he came into Victoria School, we have offered him a yearly scholarship to encourage him and continue to steer towards his sailing journey. I chose to go to sailing because we can make new friends, as well as we, had, we can learn to think on our feet because of the current changes, wind changes and many else and as well as to be able to have great competition with athletes from Singapore as well as other countries. Team Spirit, the competition between us during training is very strong as this is to help us to cope with tight scenarios in competition to make us to do better when other opponents take us on. Actually, I'm quite confident of them because uh, a lot of them have sailing backgrounds so I'm pretty sure they know what they are doing out at sea. Uh, but another reason why I'm confident of them is because on land, during normal training days, uh, you can see the camaraderie amongst them. And so I believe, you know, whatever happens out at sea, they will be able to, you know, help each other out. The VS sailing team has now officially ended their training and I believe that they are about as ready as they are ever going to get. I really feel that the tides are turning in our favour this year and I definitely will be supporting my friends at the starting line. See you at the starting flag. 